How's it going, UT? Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Last left off, we ran through the tutorial and learned a couple spells, Lumios and Revelios. And I learned how to, we fought a couple stone statues or arm, armored stone beasts, one of them. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Can I open this? Ooh. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Vivelio. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revenge on that statue and see what detail? Kelpie, a shapeshifter water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long named maned horse, the largest Kelpie. I've reported to the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Okay. Uh, okay. Clever. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I know there's a spell I can get. I'm pretty sure there's a spell I can get to get the ch like just, just get the chest, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I know it gotta be. That ain't gonna never get old. That ain't gonna never get old. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker okay. your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall okay see uh oh so like well, okay where am I going <laughs> I'm at, right? Go back to Grand Staircase, select Library, 
select the library annex to continue. Where is the library? Okay, I'm a little confused. <laughs> select, oh. That was my dumbness. <laughs> That was all of me. I kind of waste like a second. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Oh. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I hope I'm on the Revelia. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig! Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Can I get that it's back good to there? to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, 
though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Defense against the dark magic. Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Can I get that? Okay. Didn't get it. Dang it. Okay, what is that? There's glass up there. No, my other class right there. I'm gonna go to defense against dark magic first. enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Got it. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Just gonna put me on the spot? Okay. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cast. Dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, 
Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, Lord. Protego. This should be easy. Levioso. Good form. I know. <laughs> Nothing lucky about it. Stupid Tiger. This can't be your first. Stupid Princess Wong. I do enjoy life and you. I do know if my students would have stepped up. What is your opponent assigned to attack? Okay. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spec. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mm. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Till next time. Complete main quest two of two. All right. That's my next. I think it's right over here. 142 staircases. Now it's upstairs. This is where they put me. Who said that? Class all the way up here. I gotta keep going up. Okay. Uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. Okay, there's a chest over here. Go to charm class. How do I get to charm class? Oh, more steps. 
Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lecture. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio? Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! That was it? That was his class? <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Put on a spot again. Oh, okay. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and... Splendid! Not to worry. Now, uh, think of this... That's it! Uh... Very good! Hmm. I didn't do good at all. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Are we about to lose this? I, mm. Oh, she go first. Oh wow! Really? On the first try, you got a fifty. Oh 
Mark. Please roll off. There we go. Oh man. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Watch this. Please don't you knock me off. Oh, she beat me. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Brilliant. Dang it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. You, you better knock her off. Oh my goodness. Let us see this. Are you serious? Cheating. <laughs> I can't even see. I can't see. Here we go. Wow. There we go. I still won even if I don't get this one. I'll take the 30. Excellent control there. I I'll take what I can get. You know, I'll take what I can get. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes, but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, 
that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. A word of care. If you're lucky on humans, if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay, cool. Complete main quest one of four. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> Can you open the quest, see what we have left? Meet Professor Wesley after class. Did, did I do that? Okay, we go back downstairs. I wish we didn't have to the dagger. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? I've in always said the travel broadens the mind. The minister for magic. Trevelio. There's a chest up here. Can I get it? No, it wasn't. Uh. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold uh. attack. Was the Potato. minister a boot or the minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble? Okay, I guess can't open that yet, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this new Let's Play. I'm loving this game so far. Top to bottom, like, even though it's kind of, it, it, like, even though I never saw none of the Harry Potter movies or, well, I saw the first one. That, that counts as, like, basically me just seeing it, like. To be honest, I was getting it when I had like surgery when I was younger, like a tonsil surgery, and basically, I saw bits and pieces. I just heard of like, what's this? Revelia. Nice. Painting of Ilias. The painting depicts of the young orphan wizard, wizard Ilias, who famously saved the entire village from an army. Dimensions in the dark wizard. Okay, by conjuring a mouse. Page <laughs> promise. Okay, what's this? That young'un's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not cobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Do I go back around this way? Oh, go out the door. Okay. They're very jealous of me, I'm sure. Now I want one. I want one of those now. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. 
Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay. I see something else over there. Also transfiguration. Can I do anything with the XP? Okay, open quest log. Cross one is round one. We're gonna do that later. Oh, wrong way. I tried to hide a puff scheme once. In the corner of the... Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. 
Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. I probably should have just said that in the beginning instead of saying this something. This is totally the right different. area. I wonder where the flying page is. Uh, okay. Flying page. Revenia. That doesn't do. Is that it right there? Oh. How do I get it? Ah, uh, okay. Do I just shoot it down? Oh, don't do that. That's not necessary. How do I get it? How do I get it? Wait. Uh, wrong. <laughs> Got it. Duh. <laughs> Collect flying page def defiant. Okay. A flying page must be around here. Bring it. Yeah. Pavelio. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I'm gonna collect everything as much as I can. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of uh -oh. your magic. That one was a little tough right there. <laughs> Repairo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized Rebellion. heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. To the Simons, what's the next one? The wrong button. Okay. Go to welcome the hogs meat. Oh, wrong way. I hope you guys enjoying this last player. Like, I gotta say it again. I mean, can I get this now? Put that on probably after. Is that a suit? That says suit or armor. Tradition in my family. Revelio. Make sure. Hello. Looking for me? Yeah, I'm looking for you. Oh, Natty. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ah, oh, I forgot to get that page behind her. It's okay. I'll go get it. I'll go back and get it off screen.
Revelia. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I cannot tell oh. you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. What the? Hogsmeade so that... is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much a... for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Was that a Quidditch arena back there? Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I want one of those now. Likely already named them too. France Hoop and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. It's a bop. <laughs> I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. It will, trust Mr. me, it will. Mr. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, oh we about to take on some eye. Hey, Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. <laughs> Merely there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs meat. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I get one of them cloaks that they got. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. 
I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I know y'all saw that he just was glitching. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay. Oh, I go to barbershop. I'm gonna do some of these. Try some shoes. We're gonna visit these in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was really no action. Well, it was a little bit of action in it. Uh, we lost the first game, but we won the main game. So in the next episode, we're gonna get our wand and find everything. Visit all these shops as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in the next episode.